Nigerian soldiers shows on seriousness by bordering about attire of civilians. Organizing Digbo condemns arrest of Arthur Chingwe Talago. The army did not find any weapon with the man. So, how was wearing Biafra regalia an offense? Honestly, this have generated so many reactions from Nigerians. Why would Nigerian government or Nigerian soldier arrest a civilian that wore a color that belongs to a, an organization they prescribed, saying that he's, you know, soliciting for the, for the organization, IPOB members and all that. Nigerians are really not happy about this. Some persons have been saying that the Nigerian army only, only flares their morsels when it comes in the matter of southeast or whatever or south south but refuse to do the needful in the northern part of this country anyway guys let's get straight you know to the news and get the full details but before then if you are here for the first time kindly subscribe also click on the notification button for more updates and don't forget to give us a thumbs up thank you very much i really do appreciate the APIS Igbo Social Cultural Organization, organizing Igbo, has reacted to the arrest of a veterinarian Nollywood actor, Chingwe Talago, by Nigerian military men on Thursday. Oranese condemned the action, saying, A serious soldier will not bother himself with the dress of somebody. Sarah reporters had reported yesterday that the Nigerian army, in a statement by spokesman Emmanuel Wanchuku, confirmed Ago's arrest. Reacting, the National Public City Secretary of Organizing Digbo Worldwide, Chief Alex Obonaya said, Organizing Digbo will not abandon the case. We condemn the action of the army in its totality. Obonaya disclosed this to Sarah reporters in an exclusive interview on Friday. The Igbo group spokesperson argued that actors in Nigerian society seek attention, which should explain Ago's choice of outfit. He further said the agitation of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, is not a crime until it becomes harmful to the society, noting that such had not been the case. Ogbon Naya berated the Nigerian army for losing its primary rule of defending civilians against external aggression by descending so low to be killing, maiming, and humiliating innocent civilians. He therefore argued that they urged that the chief of army staff, Lieutenant General Farouk Yahya, to give military personnel proper orientation on the rule of engagement with civilians. Just like in the film industry, you see them, the actors wearing all sort of attractive dresses to get the attention, attention of people. That was what he, Agu, did. Some of them wear police-like uniforms and nothing happens. They are just seeking attention. Above all, even with the army's statement that he was wearing IPOP dress, IPOP or Biafra is not an offensive when people are saying it. It becomes a crime when people involved are using it to hurt others or to stop the legitimate rights of others or harm society. The army did not find any weapon with the man. So how was wearing Biafra regalia an offense? It's very difficult to explain certain things going on in this country. We are all looking up to the chief of army staff to intervene and take this matter up. He must also note the rule of engagement with the army and the civilians the role of the army is to defend society against external aggression, but the reverse is the case now. The Nigerian military men meme, kill, and humiliate people unjustly, and that is not part of the bargain. The chief of army staff should re reorientate the military men on the rules of engagement with the civilians. We will follow the matter up and see the end point. It will help us to know what else to do, Ogbon Naya said. <laughs> that Biafra flag attire is far more dangerous to those oppressors from the desert 
Then, the combination of corona and Ebola virus, the main sight of it gives soldiers more sheaves than it gives them when they are suddenly confronted by Boko Haram. The flag alone is a one million man Biafran army. It should be condemned with the strongest of words, what an impetus and a gross violation of human rights. It's your people that brought them to our land. Why complaining? They are truly unserious people. Rising Sun Army not be your mate. <laughs> These are Nigerians reacting and they are still talking. Someone said it is not just to condemn the action like Buhari. It is only about talking the necessary actions or taking the necessary actions. These people have been deployed to our region to create unnecessary arrest in our peaceful region. It's not gonna be acceptable. These are one these ones keep condemning like one or that keeps expressing shock. If you want to ascertain their level of seriousness, go and wear your own. Very unserious and irresponsible terrorist soldiers. I love Biafra flag anyway. Jobless set of cowards. Nigerians are still talking. At the sight of Biafran flag or a piece of cloth with the rising sun, dance Buhari and his kingsmen has been known for this. These people will continue to die one after the other, and that is our prayers. So, guys, you see, Nigerians are still talking about this. You know, they don't, Nigerians are not really happy about what is happening in the southeast. Could it be that the Nigerian government deploy? Uh, Nigerian army to the southeast to kill their citizens. So many persons are asking so many questions, which we don't know. So, guys, I'm dropping it here. Kindly hit the comment section, subscribe to this channel if you have not, and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much for always stopping by.